Hello YouTube tobacco enjoying community. Smoking my Kiko and uh, oh yeah African Meerschaum Kiko. Found out that they've stopped producing this. Well the mines ran out. The mines were exhausted back in 2006. I googled it. That's what it said. But luckily we can still get the Turkish Meerschaum. Alright, well anyway. This is what I'm smoking. And I mentioned it in a review. I mean in a video when I gave a shout out to Beer and Backy. It's the only cherry blend I'll smoke. And not that it's good or anything, it's just that it's sentimental. That's, only, that's mainly the only reason that I'll smoke it. I'm not going to get into that story here. You can go back and watch that video. Beer and Backy, shout out. And uh, you can have the story there. But I wanted to actually review it now. Because, uh, well, it's in my tobaccoisreviews.com, I believe. And I just never gotten around to giving it a full review. It is a uh, bright Virginia and burly with a hint of cherry flavoring, is what it is. It's made by the John Mendelton Company. It's called Mendelton's Cherry Blend Pipe Tobacco. That's it right there. On the box it says, um, well it says on the box pretty much what Prince Albert says because the, Prince Albert's made by the same company, John Mendelton. And I'll just read what it says. It says what smokers like about Mendelton's Cherry Blend Pipe Tobacco is good tasting, pleasant aroma, mild, no bite, cool, never tiring, the cut, and it's priced right. And this company's been around since 1856 and they've dedicated resources to producing one-of-a-kind quality pipe tobacco brands at affordable prices. They're really committed to giving the personal preferences for all the customers. The unique blend of Mendelssohn's Cherry Blend Pipe Tobacco is achieved by adhering to the very high standards that they set in every step of production, the attention and care paid to selecting and curing their tobacco equals that of of blending and finishing as a result Mendelton pipe tobacco brands provide superior consistency ensuring your smoking pleasure every time no name brand or no name yeah no name products could compromise these tough standards and that would reduce your smoking pleasure uh, and they go on to say Mendelton pipe tobacco brands are your best assurance of quality and value. Well, that's just a package advertising, but here, so it comes in this is the one point five ounce package, but you can get it in the white canister, plastic. It's 14 ounces. Uh, that's what it looks like. I've had people say that when they pour it out, it looks like crushed red pepper. I know. Isn't that funny? But this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pour it out and let you see it. See? And I guess in a way, maybe, it could look like crushed red pepper. In a way. Yeah, anyway, I know I'm spilling it, but, you know, so. It's got a very faint hint of cherry sweetness. I mean, very hint, very light. Um, it doesn't have any black cavendish in it whatsoever. That's why it's not as sweet, not as overpowering. When you open it up, it does have a sweetness smell to it. 
and like I said, it is bright Virginia and burly tobacco with a hint of cherry flavoring. I guess the room note is tolerable. The flavoring is tolerable. It's worth trying if you don't want a strong cherry, because it's not strong. It's not strong and overpowering like Paladine's Black Cherry. And that's just my opinion. So that's that. It's not bad in an African Meerschaum. Now I've heard people say it's not bad in a corn cob either. So. That is my review on Mendelton Cherry Blend. Give it a try if you want. Like all cherry blends, it does burn on the hotter side though. Be warned on that. There is a drug store over the counter blend too. Alright, thank you for watching. Continue to subscribe. Until next time.